Today's horror manga dub and narration is the ultimate rehabilitation. From the horror anthology 100 Ghost Stories My Own Death by Matano Anji. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right in to the ultimate rehabilitation. I hope you all enjoy. I'm a reporter from Escape Sakurai. Thank you for allowing me to interview you today. My name is Tachibana. I'll act as your guide. Here at the Great Juvenile Rehabilitation Facility, we take in young men who repeatedly commit crimes. After all other methods of rehabilitation have proven ineffective. I've heard that the recidivism rate for the boys leaving this facility is 0%, but can that really be possible? Of course. Not a person who's moved on from this facility has committed a single crime. Those boys over there are getting close to graduation. The two of them looked over to see two men uncannily smiling uncontrollably. The two of them waved at him as sweat dripped down Sakurai's brow and he lift his camera to take a picture. But that was when the guide appeared right before his camera, scaring him half to death. Uh, uh, I thought I could take a few shots of them. Next, I'll take you inside the facility. The new arrivals are first dropped off here for their rehabilitation. Afterwards, they are introduced into their community living program. What do you mean by receive rehabilitation? Rehab is rehab. What else could it mean other than... She stopped for a moment. Golly Sakurai, you already know what it means. But poor Sakurai couldn't help but feel a little uneasy. Uh, how would I? Uh. After the first week, the juvenile's rehabilitation is nearly complete. And we check to see if they've been fitting in into the community lifestyle we laid out for them. The criteria we evaluate for that are... But when the guide looked back, Sakurai was gone. Sakurai? Staying with her can only end badly. I need to see what this place holds for myself. Sakurai proceeded to wander through the rehabilitation facility, taking note of its dreary walls and atmosphere. Feeling compelled, he decided to capture a moment with a photograph. As he continued his exploration, he encountered a prominently displayed off-limit sign, clearly indicating restricted access for authorized personnel only. Ignoring the warning, he pressed onward toward a specific rehabilitation room, marked with a sign declaring, Rehabilitation in Progress. Approaching cautiously, he strained to hear faint noises emanating from within, drawing nearer to eavesdrop on the ongoing proceedings. Sensei, electrode implementation has been completed in the left brain. Hey, hey, that's a little off. Oh, like that, I see. Think you can manage more of a firm grip. Sorry, Sensei. But it's not like we lost much, right? Messing up while digging around in criminals' brains is no big deal. This low life killed a woman all for a moment of pleasure. Thinking he's allowed forgiveness just because he's young is comical. If we killed him here, I'm sure no one would have a problem with it. Sakurai couldn't believe what he was hearing. The mystery. He was unraveling. 
You fool! No matter what lengths you take to educate them, they'll always just be poor children who couldn't help but make a mistake. That's why we must go this far, so they won't commit such heinous crimes again. They need to be remade, starting from their brains. That's the only way we can return this world to the place it was truly meant to be. Sakurai had pieced it all together and realized it was time for him to leave before he was next. But that was when a familiar voice called from behind him. Sakurai. Illegal trespassing is a crime, don't you know? Upon recognizing the person behind him, Sakurai's instincts kicked in prompting him to hastily retreat. In his rush to escape, he accidentally collided with the guide. Just as the commotion unfolded, a voice crackled over the intercom, calling attention to the disturbance. Intruder! Intruder! I'll head to the control room. The exit needs to be locked down. I'll go to the front gate. All of the members of the facility began to look for Sakurai, but one of them ran out strangely, panting. He rose his mask, revealing it was Sakurai. What did I just hear? Messing with the brain? Being remade? It doesn't make any sense. This place is creepy as hell. I need to leave. At that moment, as Sakurai hastily glanced around, he suddenly became aware of the other individuals within the facility. A gust of wind swept through causing their caps to flutter off into the air and scatter. What he witnessed was truly horrific. The boy's head had been meticulously sutured all around, stitch by stitch marking the aftermath of a complex operation aimed at his rehabilitation. The sight of the carefully sewn wounds underscored the intensity of the medical intervention the boy had undergone. No, they really... As the boy placed his cap on his head, Thakurai continued, I'm out of here. To hell with the scoop. They were about to take me in. Don't tell anyone about this. Don't say a word. Don't say a word to anyone. But little did Sakurai know the horrible truth of what was happening to him. Hey everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Motosurf, Leo, Dason Animus, Minyu Wei, Rich Harris, Andre Wolf, Tanya M, and Kago. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're important, and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.